it's just boring. They didn't go that route, but I it was kind of getting back to the nitty gritty details that you're saying you might not want to watch of like just because they escape prison doesn't mean it's like, oh, happy go lucky, we're on we're back right where we need to be. There's like still yep. work and a journey yeah. escaping prison. You know, there's still hardships there and Mel she's like, We gotta tell the world now. Like yeah. we gotta split up. And that was a great tie in to of course how they're again reunited in Rogue One. We knew that they would have to separate at some point and of course their odds are better at succeeding if they're not tied together. But the end of that episode closes out with him looking out into the sunset on the horizon, which was definitely a parallel to Scarif at yeah. the end. Yeah. Great parallel. That was cool. Very I cool. was really excited when this episode ended because then I got to watch this other TV show I like <laughs> called Alone on Netflix, which is super good. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that Wait was a minute. You weren't jacked out of your mind when you saw Sergeant Linus Mosk show oh, up on I screen. I thought of you. I thought of you. <laughs> Pockets. Oh, that fermenting. It is great. He's work. He got a smelter job, sir. Okay, so how did <laughs> how did Mosk know where Andor was? Or how did He's he hear about that? Obsessive. What is he doing? So what did he say? He's back on Priox Marlana and he's he, did he say how he heard about the death? Uh, I mean, he's there. He's closer to Ferrix. And sure. so he probably got word of that. I wonder, I mean... I think he probably just heard that Marvo was dead yeah. and that... He knew they got separated. Like, yeah. where, they, where he last left Cyril was where Cyril still was, kind of, you know. Yeah. The same place. But, yeah, it's just... I would have preferred they would have, like, closed some strings with that, too. Like, is he or is he not going to end up with the love of his life? And Mosk? No, cereal. His, the love, the love of his, his life, life is Mosk? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Deidre? <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's what I know her as. Deidre. Brody, it's a slow buildup to a good romance. Look, man. Might be season two. Look, Maybe. I'm not asking for it to be like world class like Twilight. I'm just asking. <laughs> world that- class like Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just asking that it like does something there and you know there's there's some sort of great climactic ending that you would have got this episode that would have like teetered into the next one and you would have dealt with that but look it's fine Whatever. it feels like when um like the analogy i'm coming up with on the spot is like when you're skateboarding down a half pipe like this one was where you kind of like used all the momentum and you're hanging on the ledge and you're like, okay, well, that's not really a trick yet. But then they're about to like go swoop down and then be able to use all their moment- momentum to yeah, pull I mean, off maybe like, sick. maybe maybe nice. they can stick the landing this next episode. But as this, as if it's you know in of itself, it's only seventy two percent for us. And I'm stunned Christian didn't give it five out of five stars for the characters, considering the fact that Sergeant Linus Musk it was, was in this episode. I almost I typed it in, and then I was like, oh, I gotta. <laughs> do my job, think objectively about this show, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, uh, okay, that number. There's so <laughs> many times in life now I think of Christianisms that no one gets that, you know, doesn't watch our show. 